Microsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors. Welcome to the Airsoft GI Summer Sale. GI TV, Bobby Axeman Hildebrand here with a couple of gents who were nice enough to show up with a badass tent at our walk-in store sale. The summer sale will be specific on June 22nd. Now these gentlemen are members of Team Disposable Heroes. Why don't you guys introduce yourself from left to right? Uh, Jace Port. Eric Mason. Nate Ziobro. Now, one of the cool things about this team, besides their ridiculously cool gear, which I hope Ross got some shots of, is the fact that a lot of members of their team are current or former military members. Isn't that correct, guys? Is that yes, right? Sir. Okay, so now if I uh, miss my guess, you guys have members from the United States Army, which is a damn good army if I don't miss my guess, and also the United States Marine Corps, as well as the United States Navy, correct? Yes, sir. No Air Force gentlemen? No Coast Guard? Not, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. Well, I got to tell you, you know, you've got a lot of cool looking gear, a lot of cool looking, uh, I guess, tactical equipment. Um, what got you guys into this? And, and tell me the story behind Disposable Heroes. All right, well, you know, we got into it when we were back in high school, 2002, 2001 at the time. And, you know, we were into the military life. We were into having fun, you know what I mean? We, were, we ended up joining the military right out of high school and everything like that. So this is a good way to train. As far as Disposable Heroes came around, uh, a few buddies and I, we went, did, not, did a deployment um, back in OIF-3, went to Iraq for a year, and then we went on another one, uh, uh, OIF-7 and 8, and a buddy of mine, Alex Walgren, and I were kind of discussing, and he kind of came up with the thought of disposable heroes, and uh, we kind of want to acknowledge the fact that, uh, you know, there's all these men, and, you know, even women out there in the United States Armed Forces that are willing to pretty much put themselves up and make themselves disposable. They are disposable heroes in my eyes and in many other people's eyes to protect our U.S. Constitution. You know, yep. No matter what battlefield you're on, you are protecting our United States. And we just want to acknowledge that fact. And so we call ourselves the disposable heroes. Just trying to put that, put that out there, you know, for people to understand. Well, I will say it's a very unique team name. And I got to say, you know, all of your gear looks very Milsim. Uh, I'm guessing you guys are a Milsim team, right? Yeah, that is definitely correct. Uh, <laughs> A lot of the gear we use is uh, gear that we use on training, uh, out in our deployments, uh, anywhere we go with our, our real weapons, this is the stuff we're wearing. So we like to keep it legit, we want to keep the, our training legit, even the, the times we have fun out there, the, you know, out there in Deadwood or uh, uh, Lions Club, we want to have a really good time but keep it legit. And the best way to do it is wear the right gear. Absolutely, and you guys definitely have some stuff that looks very, very real, or at least what I like to call very, very tactical. Uh, so I gotta ask, um, you guys have a couple saws, you got some sniper rifles, um, what do you guys generally run? Do you have a plate carrier that everyone uses or is it all kind of up to each other's personal tastes? Um, pretty much the whole team runs KWAs, that's our standard platform for the whole team because the reason why we run KWAs is just in case like say we're in a firefight, my gun goes down, if he's carrying a different lower I can take my upper off and swap it in with a different lower and so we can continue to fight on throughout the battlefield if anything ever happened like that. So it keeps it really simple for us and keeps us build maneuverable and operational during gameplays. That, that so, makes a lot of sense, being able to transfer parts to be able to you know, be combat uh, effective. 
Um, well, that's really cool. Obviously, you guys have uh, very good at you know doing camel paint jobs in your gear as well. Uh, but I just want to say thank you for coming out, for just being a part of our, our summer sale this weekend, and honestly, just setting up one badass booth. Very well played, and I wanted to thank you guys thank for just coming out and being a part of it. Thanks for having us. God bless America. Dump Sparrow Sparrow. Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors.